is Crown Heights Jeopardy, and here's our host, Alex Treblack. Yes, thank you so much. I am Alex Treblack, and I am the host of Crown Heights Jeopardy. This is a game which tests your knowledge of current affairs and the world around you. Now remember, Robin, yes. and all friends at home, this game will finally settle this whole Crown Heights mess. Ah. Representing the Jews today, we have Chaim Goldwasser. You are a Hasidim from Crown Heights, is that correct? Yes, sir. Now, let's tell the truth. There's been some speculation. These are real? Your, your, your uh, pigtails are real? Payas. Payas are real? Yes. They are. Now, does this represent that a lot of Jews don't like to pay for a haircut? Or uh, is this a religious significance? It's, uh, it's, it's a Talmudic significance. Talmudic significance? Yes. If you grow your hair long, you should grow your hair long. And you what should will never happen? never cut your hair. You should never cut your hair. What would happen if you cut your hair? It has been tradition of our people for many years right. that we have not done it. Right. It looked better. It looked better that way. <laughs> you cut well, it. Well, this is our... See, already the blacks are starting oh, in. Yeah! You me, the blacks uh, are down there are starting in. As you know, Rabbi, you are a legitimate rabbi. I'm a practicing rabbi. Okay, Rabbi, you know that you are representing all of the Jews of Crown Heights. Let's hope that you win, or the blacks win, or the officer wins. Whoever wins will settle this Crown Heights dispute. It's a very sad well, situation. what does it mean when they win? When they win, that means they win for their people. And that means the Jews win, then the blacks have to shut up. Or ah. if the blacks win, the Jews have to shut okay. up down in Crown right. Heights, right? What about the officer? Officer Simpson over there. Yeah, the, the officer is there to separate the two of you. <laughs> now, you are Officer Roger <laughs> Drool. You're an ex-cop, is that correct? Yes. And uh, you served as a cop in Brooklyn and Queens. And you are here to represent all police officers, as far as I'm concerned, in the Crown Heights affair. Is that right? Yes. All right. And you know the game Jeopardy? Yes, I do. All right. Well, we'll wait till you get the category Jew Paris. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I thought that was a yeah. from California. As we know, we have our two That's black contestants. Why are there two black contestants? African Americans. Yes, African. You want to be called African Americans? Yeah. It's strength in numbers. Of course, uh, African American. The reason you're two is uh, they felt more comfortable in a pack. <laughs> That's what they told us. It's yeah. strength in numbers. Yeah. Now, you were in the movie House Party. Is that correct? Yeah, I was in the You go by the name Chill? That's right. All right, but uh, of course, for this game, you are known as, we're going to give him an African name for tonight. Uh -huh. He cannot be called Chill for purposes of Jeopardy. It will be Malcolm Excrement. I can work with you. Malcolm Excrement. <laughs> you, of course, are Tyrone Frazier, the great boxer. You just lost another big fight this past week, didn't you? It is, boo. He lost the big fight. Man, you know something, man? What? I, can't, I cannot deal with this boxing too much, man. I might quit. After yeah, you this might match. have to quit boxing and quit going to that barber of yours. What the hell happened over there? What is now, that? That's tradition. Now, what is that? What does that mean? That's tradition. That's Hello, tradition? That's right. All right. Just like oh. the rabbi over here, you have your tradition. Now, you right. remember, you represent all blacks in this Crown Heights thing. So you're playing for points tonight, all right? So how do you know I lost my fight? You wasn't there. And by the way, you're not Tyrone Frazier. You are Tyrone Shoes. That is your African that's name. Me. That is your African name for man. tonight. That's Ladies and gentlemen, I now turn your attention to some of the prizes our contestants will be playing for. Here's some of the prizes our players will be playing for. Well, all contestants on Crown Heights Jeopardy will be receiving the following. A yarmulke bra. An Al Sharpton dartboard. A sculpture of Tony Bennett. A CD rap version of Haba Nagila. And Jungle Fever condoms. All right, remember our categories now. For the first time, I'll reveal them. Blacks, funny Jewish words, word jumble, potpourri, and jew -pourri. A new category, jew -pourri to the Crown Heights Jeopardy. And now let's begin our playing with the rabbi. The rabbi goes first. We decided that... Yeah, Yo, hold up, man. That rabbi got a turbo button. Let me check his button, man. No, come on. Let's play the game hold now. Up, man. Malcolm Excrement, go stand over there. yours too, man. All right, here we go. You go ahead, like... rabbi. Right, here we go, rabbi. Keep Remember, stuff, all man. answers work... must be phrased in question start, form. Man. I think you've lost control of the show. I right? certainly have. <laughs> you guys got to be quiet while I read the rules or else you won't know what's but going on. I'm just curious. Is this a black thing? Is, you know, you start with... No, the Jew one ahead of time. And stop with the black Jew thing, okay. all right? Remember, all answers must be phrased in question form. Buzz in when you have the correct answer, and let's start with time. Right. Go ahead, time. All right. Uh, the category is uh, funny Jewish words. Funny Jewish words, all right? How much do you want that for? What, what uh, price? Ten. Ten. Let's try funny Jewish words for ten. And the answer is bubala. Answer in question form what that means, bubala. If ring in, somebody ring, buzz in oh. if you have the answer. All right, Chaim Goldwasser, what is it? Is a Shana Boitchikol, is a baby, is a sweet little thing. You lose. Is a baby a sweet little thing? Excuse me, that wasn't in question But that form. was a Jewish question for him. They start everything with is. Nah, man. 
Your Honor, are you saying that's not here, right? Here we go. That's not, not right. right. Do you have to say what is? That is yes. Right. Oh. Do you feel that that's the Jewish vernacular? Blue. No. Blue. Uh. Blue. What is? I got it. I'm, I'm, All right. Let's my go brother. over to you Malcolm X. Malcolm X. What is a baby? What is a baby? All right. All right. Rabbi, your only mistake was you didn't answer in question form. All right. Let's go over to the two brothers, Malcolm Excrement and Tyrone Shoes. Pick a category and take a uh, prize. We're going to take... All right, we're going with black. All right, we're going with blacks for how much? For $50. $50, all right, let's go for blacks for $50. This famous song and dance man was riddled with cancer, had a glass eye, and allegedly cheated on his wife. All right, we go to Kyan Goldwasser, who buzzed in first. What is Sammy Davis Jr.? What is Sammy Davis Jr.? Well, that's 50 points. So Kyan Goldwasser has 40 points. Kyan Goldwasser has 40 points because he had negative 10 before. That's right. I see trouble already in the scorekeeping. <laughs> Let's go back to Kyan Goldwasser. Go ahead. Jewish word. Jewish word. Jewish word. For 20? For 20. For 20. For Jewish word for 20. The answer is putts. <laughs> Kyan Goldwasser, go ahead. What is a penis? What is a penis is correct. Yeah. Time Goldwater on the board with 20. That makes it 60. Go ahead, Time Goldwater. All right. For... For... 30. Jewish words for 30? Jewish words for 30. Jewish words for 30. And the answer is... Oh. Stop. Time Goldwater again. What is copulation? What is copulation or intercourse? That is correct. Well, why don't you steal already? What's the matter with you? I don't think their buzzer is working. <laughs> Rabbi, go ahead. We will take blacks for 10. Blacks for 10. Okay. Well, you guys should do well with this. So, officer, you know blacks. Grabs women's butts, is accused of rape, runs by cars into trees, and punch Robin Gibbons. What is Mike Tyson? He got in there ahead of you. What is Mike Tyson? We'll be back. Hey, calm down. We'll be back with more right after this. Goldwasser got the, um, didn't he get the last, uh, He's in control of the board. Time, go ahead and pick a, Come on, uh, man. Come on, Jaime. It is... Hey, now, wait a second. Hey. He said it. Yeah, he said it. Now, you said Jaime? Yeah, he said it. You called him Jaime? Yeah, he said it. Is that, Isn't that name? offensive? Is that his name? Yeah, no, 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 it's Jaime. Oh! I'm so sorry, my friend. All right, come on, come on. Don't, don't be a bully because you're in a pack. Don't be a bully. You know... You're going wild. Wild, wild. You going wild. Be nice. Come on, All right, let's play, nice. let's play the game. Let's play the game. Go ahead. Hey! Let's go. Let's <laughs> play the game. Man, take it easy, man. Come on, let's play the game. You know, this is just like Crown Heights. The cops ah, do yeah. nothing. The, the cops, cops are doing do nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> Officer, why are you doing nothing? <laughs> yeah. Of course, Captain Goldberg says don't, you don't, get don't, get don't get involved. Don't get involved. All right. Don't get involved. That's good. <laughs> You're right. Don't, I don't think you control the situation. Go ahead. Come on. Let's play the game. Come on. Black to 20. Let's go with black. Jew Paris still not judged. This black man found over 500 uses for the peanut for yep. no apparent reason. <laughs> Time Goldwasser, let's go. George Washington Carver. Wrong. Let's hey. go again. Who is George Washington Carver? That is right. Uh, Tyrone too. Uh, you uh, must uh, answer uh, in uh, answer form. I'm sorry, All right, that was minus. Knock him um, down. Knock him down. All right, that's 80 for uh, Kaim Goldwasser. And uh, what do we have for minus Tyrone Shoes? Minus, minus 10. 10 for them. Okay, oh, very good. All right, and you have control of the board. Our blacks. In the Crown Heights Jeopardy. Go uh -huh. ahead. Oh, yeah, we went. Okay, uh, we take him blacks for 40. We take him blacks for 40. And let's see what that is. Oh, we are uh, very good. This kerchief headed, rotund Yo. woman smiled out Yo, at America from the front of a pancake box. Kyam Goldwasser is hit Yo, first. What's up? You seen that, right? Wait, hold wait it. Minute, wait Come a minute. On, wait. Man. They obviously have something wrong with their buzzer. Because I was pulling was it. What is. No, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't hey. say Jaime. You can't say Jaime. You can't say Jaime. You can't say Jaime. What is your name again? Jaime. Jaime. All right. You got to hear him. Jaime. Robin, whose light was on first? There was no light, but Press your light. Let me see if it works. You, your light works fine. There's something wrong with you. Jaime goes, go wash it. Go ahead. What is Aunt Jemima? What is Aunt Jemima? That is correct. What is Aunt Jemima? Okay. Hey, Black for 30. Hey, Black for 30. Here we go. 
Video Daily Double. Now you can play for as much as you want, up to one hundred twenty dollars. Oh, you. How much do you want to bid? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. That's all. Ten dollars. All right, look at the screen and see if you can tell who is the star of this video. Now watch What's this screen, screen here. <laughs> oh! Up, go ahead. What is the Los Angeles police officers and their black men that they beat up? Do you know the name of that black man? The star of the video? Do you know the name? I'm sorry. Uh, it's going to have to be called Rodney King. Rodney uh, King. Oh, so that's minus 10. Yeah, I'm sorry, right. Rabbi. Yo. Oh, man. Rob, and I see that. Uh, that's minus that 10. He bet $10. Oh, Thank man. you, Kevin, for that help. <coughs> Robin, we continue with Kaim Goldwasser. Okay. Uh, Take word jumble, man. Come on, word jumbo, Rabbi. Go for it. Do it for 50. No, we're going to go with uh, word jumbo. No, we're going to take um, Jewish. Jew Pori. For 10. For 10. Go ahead. This comedian's husband killed himself in a hotel with dozens of pills and tiny liquor bottles. This comedian's. Up. Oh, time go watch it. Uh oh. One is. Oh, what is John Rivers? John Rivers, that is correct. Go ahead, Kyle. Well, you know this host. Yeah. Why we work with one category? You got black. You got uh, Potpourri has a lot of things about blacks and cops, and you have word jumble, which is open to okay. everyone. Okay. All right, go All right. ahead. Jewish Potpourri for 20. 20, go ahead. Here we go. And Geraldo Rivera says he was having sex with the late Jewish senator's Ooh. wife while he was lying in a, the next room in an oxygen tent. <laughs> and uh, who buzzed in first? No, no one. Had, oh, the cop? Uh, Whoa, oh, wait a second. Fine. Officer, who would that be? That was, uh, who was Marion Javits? Who was Marion Javits? That is correct. That's not taking Well, no, yes, that is correct. That is Rob. Is that correct, Robin? He needs the senator's name. Yes, you need the uh, senator's name. So you might as well move that. Well, that would be Jacob. wrong, actually. Jacob Javits. You need to drop that three right on that. Did ground. someone buzz in with the proper answer? Up. Time, there you are. What is Jacob Javits? Wow. wow. Very good. Well, oh, this is a runaway, isn't it? This is a runaway. What's up, man? You got to be on top of this, G. Yeah, what is going on? Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeshiva pays off. Go ahead, Rabbi. Come back okay. Uh, pot pori for ten. Potpourri for ten. That's it. All right. A purple carbonated drink that a black man has to have when he eats his Cheetos. What is grape soda? What is grape soda? All that right. is correct. Not the mint. What is grape soda? All right. All right what we're gonna do is uh, come to a break, and then we're gonna play Final Jeopardy, even though nobody's on the scoreboard except the rabbi here. <laughs> we'll be back for the final Crown Heights Jeopardy right after these words. <laughs> We're on Crown Heights Jeopardy right now, and we'll get right back to the action. But first, let me tell you about this great fax machine, Brother Fax Machine. You know who uses it? Malcolm Excrement, one of our players. What do you like about the Brother Fax? What I like about the Brother Fax? Yeah, what do you like? Is that the fact that when the papers come out, yeah. they don't curl up or nothing like that? It's easy to read. Yeah. You know, and it, it makes it a lot better. You don't have a big mess all over the place. A whole bunch of, look like a scroll when you come home. By the way, Malcolm Exterman, uh, that looks like a hat, but that's really his hair. He had a cut in the shape of a hat. Right. You don't even really know that or not. All right. I wonder at, what kind of facts does he get? I got some great ones. It says here, look at this fax, Robin, from Reverend Billy Graham. It says, uh -huh. Howard, shoot them all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother has a new line of incredible fax machines. They're called the anti-curl system. Now, Malcolm Exterman started to get into it a little bit. All the faxes come out perfectly flat. Yes, you rolled up those faxes. After they came out flat. Right. That's right, Robin. <laughs> ACS faxes, that's anti-curl system, like the Brother 400, give you smooth, easy-to-read faxes, no more curled-up faxes, which I love. You know, some of my faxes now come out so curly, curlier than the rabbi's pigtails. <laughs> I'm being serious. Pay us. <laughs> pay us. Whatever. Every minute with the Jews. Pay us. Pay us. Pay us. How much money do you think I got? <laughs> All right. ACS series faxes also have auto smoothing. This eliminates jagged edges from the text when you receive documents. They're sharp and clear. You'd love this, Robin. There's automatic cover page, memory speed dial, auto feed, auto cutter, and two line LCD display. ACS anti curl system series faxes look great, and you'll never have another curled up fax. Get one today at Staples, JR Music World, and all Allied Office Supplies. Okay, let's get back to Crown Heights Jeopardy. Come on, baby, it ain't that heavy. All right. First, let's remind everyone what everyone's playing for. Here's some of the prizes our uh, contestants are looking at. Oh, dee All contestants on Crown Heist Jeopardy will receive the following. A Lisa Bonet nose ring. Jewish 
Monopoly. Boy, they own everything. A spare set of pigtails. And a spiked club. Now back to you, Alex Trablack. All right, well... There seems to be a scoring discrepancy. That's what I can't figure no, out here. A problem, man. Now, Chaim Goldwasser, the rabbi, has 200 points. Officer Drool is at zero. Do you score it this way? I don't think our no, scorekeeper's no, no. right. Yo, the scorekeeper's right. Chaim at 190. 190? No, because she's not doing it right. I'm telling yeah, you, you're completely wrong. Didn't deduct some right. Why don't you make that, that. Well, make, well, make that 190? Make that 190. 190? We purposely put the cards on the floor. <laughs> 190, please. Yes. Five, 190. You ain't doing it right, baby. You ain't doing it right. All right. Officer Drool, what do you have, Matt Robin? He has a minus 10. Minus 10. And what about Tyrone Shoe Laces and, of course, Malcolm X? That would right? be a minus 60. Minus 60? Yeah. Minus okay. 60? Yeah. <laughs> Robin, what you well, working with? For the sake of just playing Final Jeopardy, why, yeah. don't we, why don't we play it out? What you can do is make a wager up to 50 points. If you You're have, going if to you give have... them some points? Isn't this, doesn't this smack of, uh, what do they call that, uh, when they give them extra points? Blackfish. Yeah, well, this is called welfare. <laughs> We're going to give them 50 points. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, That's okay. preferential cool. treatment. I have to. You know, <laughs> a lot of our black contestants are complaining that the game is geared more to the white players. Oh. Yeah, there you go. All right. This was a bias. He's it's a bias. All right, please listen carefully. Oh, please okay. listen carefully, Black. Then write hey, down your no, hey. <coughs> then write down your answer on the paper in front of you, along right, with the amount of money that you want to wager on your answers. And the question is, I'm hold going to read a question. Said, write down the wager. Write down your wager. Come on. What is the final Jeopardy category? The final Jeopardy category is Black. Oh. Right. He's the right. private dick who gets all the chicks. <laughs> answer in question form. Don't let him see your answer now. I see the rabbi's having a hard time. Uh, Malcolm Excrement and Tyrone Shoelaces well, have been complaining about the unfairness of this contest. This is one that's really geared toward them. All right, I see time is up. Everybody ready? Put your pens down, please. And let's first go to our two black contestants. We go to Malcolm Excrement and Tyrone Shoelaces. What Put your pen down, please. You're always cheating. All right, go ahead. How much did you wager first? $50. $50? 50 points, $50. Fifty dollars. All right, and let's see what you put for an answer. Who is Billy D. Williams? Who is Billy D. Williams? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that is wrong. Let's go to Officer Drool. Officer Drool, what did you bet? $50. $50, and let's see what you... Uh, Holy Who shaft. is shaft? That is absolutely right. I tell you, stupid! I told you it was shaft, man! Come on, shaft has got a nappy head, man. <laughs> shaft was in that man. homo movie a couple days ago, G. Yo, Billy D is the man. All right. I tell you, it was shaft. That's 50 points for Officer Drool. And by the way, a lot of people, guys, a lot of people do complain that the officers, white officers, don't understand the black community. They see, he seems to have a better handle on black films than you guys do. Because he's eat steak. Let's go to our Crown Heights they Jeopardy apparent winner. How much did you bet? 50 points? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, and you have I, nothing. Nothing. I, it's, 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 All right. Very good, Rabbi. But you still come out ahead. That puts the Rabbi at 140 points, and I he won. is the winner. Aye. And we say good night from Crown Heights Jeopardy. Let me remind you, before we leave. Yes. Before we leave, Robin. <laughs> this is what the Rabbi will win. This is the coveted... Are you happy with this? I'm dwelling. I'm All right. <laughs> Howard Stern's crucified by the FCC. If you notice, if you open it up, what we have in here is a booklet about the Howard Stern show. You get your two cassettes or two CDs. And this is... If you've never heard a radio... Has anybody ever heard a radio show like ours, Robin? Absolutely not. Never, right? Never hey, have you guys heard this yet? Michael Springs and myself was listening to We died on the plane. We thought we were going crazy. This we is the greatest, isn't it? Crucified by the heard. FCC. All the funny bits. When we call up for the Elephant Man Remains, when we call over to England, we have Fart Man on here. We have it all. All the disgusting stuff we can't do on television, we have right on these tapes. This is an audio tape, not a video cassette. It's $29.95, and you can get it by dialing 1-800-52-STERN. 1-800-52-STERN.